first thing you got to do is take the little stem out, let it air out, and then we're going to pop the seal on this thing. And my friends let me use his garage today. But I mean, if you really had to, you could do this um, with a flathead and a hammer and a crowbar. I'll do half of it by hand so you guys can see what I mean, okay? All right, this is super easy to remember. It's like a duck's head. See, there's the head, there's the beak, and here's the tail. So we gotta get it over the duck's beak to get it off over the tail to get it on. Just remember that. So it's gotta pry at it. When you're using one of these little machines, like that, it's over the beak, off the tail. Going on, over the tail, off the beak, coming the other direction. There it is. There's one. I'll do the rest by hand so you can see how to do it. Alright, so here's what we got now. Now we're going to take this pry bar. I'm trying to do this with one hand is incredibly complicated. And if you're on the side of the road doing this, always have a flat head. So I'm going to use a flat head too. Just got to pry this seal right here. If I can get it through, which I just got. Thank you, Jesus. See? See how I can get it through? Now let me get a flat head. Alright, now we just gotta work it across. This is how you do it by hand, getting it on or off. It's a total pain in the butt, it takes forever, but I'm just doing half of it so you can get the idea. And the hand, you're usually gonna need a hammer too when you're getting them on. Almost got it. This is incredibly hard to videotape and do at the same time. I'm a he-man it. There we go. Let's see, I'm gonna set the phone here. Maybe, hopefully this works, let's see. Sorry guys. I don't even know if it's tape in it. Go, but a bang. Got it. There's no valve with no valve stem in it, so we're gonna pump air in it to get it so the tire takes its form now. See how it's filling in? It's just gonna pop. There we go, and that's gotta be the same on the bottom, and then we're good. Now here's the cool part on how to balance your tires for free. Because a lot of times we don't have money to go to the shop and pay to get it balanced because you got to use a special machine. And I've seen things at Harbor Freight too, the little, but they're not very accurate. Uh -oh. Uh, hold on a minute. See, I lowered it. Put some tension on the wheel. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put this hose line in here. Okay, like that. See how I got that into there? And then now we're gonna jack this bad boy up and watch it just drink it up in there. Hear that? Okay, now all I'm gonna do is put the brake uh, valve stem in, put my air, my right of measurement of air, and that's it, this tire's done and balanced. All right, that's it. So, finished product. 
last step if you have any of those little weights from your previous balance um, don't forget to get a hammer and a flathead and tap those little weights off to make it all equal and the antifreeze inside will balance it out as you drive so this works good on trucks uh, it also works on cars I guess but I've never tried it and I heard it's not as good on cars so I don't really know somebody might have to try it and leave me a comment tell me what you think thanks for watching may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you bye